Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be finally doing an update on the Shark Vertex. So I know I promised an update a while ago and it's been a year, but because it's been so long I think this update will be a little more valuable. So this vacuum here is the original vacuum we bought exactly a year ago. And just for disclaimers, we use our vacuum for our business, or I guess it's more of a side hustle for my wife that does the cleaning. And she uses this vacuum every day, at least five days a week. So yeah, this thing gets run really hard and we've definitely had issues with it throughout this whole time. Now keep in mind that we don't expect our vacuums to last more than six months because of the way we use them. And coming from the old Apex, I can tell you guys that this newer Vertex definitely lasts longer, or at least seems a bit tougher than the older Apex version. So in this video guys, I'm going to go over the history with this vacuum over the year and some of the things we had to replace. And also we'll talk about maintenance, which is these filters here. And of course we'll talk about if this vacuum is right for you, which as you can see here, we have another box of a brand new vacuum of the Vertex. All right, so let's start here on the top with this handle. The button works every time. The selector here obviously is just mechanical and works fine. What's interesting is the handle did not wear out as much as I thought it would. And you guys can see our pipe here survived pretty well. It is kind of flat here from just over the time of use. And as we go down here, you guys can see and this part here is fine, but there is an issue inside here and we'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, the hole is going down pretty good. There's a weird kink here, but that looks like just from handling. Now there is a lot more slop in the vacuum. It's a lot more, you know, flexible everywhere. I mean, that's pretty understandable, obviously, after all this use. And also guys, you know, none of these connections here broke so that's great to see so going to this side here this thing is fine now one thing that did surprise me about the vertex and normally we have a problem with you know after using a vacuum for that long the cord but the vertex cord seemed to survive a lot better than before which is kind of interesting i don't know what they did different about the cord but it does seem to be tougher so the canister itself, I thought it was going to be pretty bad looking because I wish they tended it, but you know, eventually get used to it and the whole vacuum just kind of all matches. So we did have trouble with the canister, which is why we have that one over there. And we'll talk about that here in a second, guys. You guys can see this is the filter area. So this filter here looks like it needs to be replaced already. And you guys can see how hard this vacuum works. And just judging by these filters, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, Kind of a pretty stressful environment that this thing goes through and yeah guys i mean just for comparisons us using this vacuum for a year is similar to someone using a vacuum you know at their home for about five years plus so what you're looking at here is about five years of use which is quite incredible that you know it's still working and everything's fine so yeah here we have the hepa filter and it just slides out a little cover and then the filters underneath See if we could pop it up here and look at it so yeah, you guys can see, you know, this needs to be replaced. But if we look on the other side, we can see that it's very clean and that's because it doesn't let anything through. And this is another thing about the Shark vacuums is that their HEPA filtration system is excellent and whatever goes in, nothing comes out after that and it traps everything. And that has a lot to do with this filter here. So that's one thing to consider is you might want to, you know, change this guy out, you know, maybe like at least once a year, depending on, you know, how much you vacuum. But also what you could do, and I'm not going to do it right here because make a mess, but you can take it out and just hit it like this against the ground and there'll be a bunch of stuff that comes out and for the main part we have the brush roll itself let me go ahead and take this thing apart throw the cord off and now unclip the wand so the brush roll gets the most beating because it goes underneath stuff it you know bangs into stuff on the edges and one of the weaknesses that it does have is right here you guys can see how loose that is already so i think this part here can be you know a bit improved i would think if we look here on the sides you can see it's a lot of beating and it's already broke through the plastic and the thing that happened to this one is the belt ended up breaking completely i guess maybe from rubbing on something and getting cut or maybe just got hit into something so for this kind of use you guys can see you know it's pretty tough on this kind of vacuums now what's interesting if we go here on the bottom and there's a few things interesting under here you know you guys can see you know this thing is definitely all worn out actually let's go ahead and take this roll off here tab here and the roller is very tough like it has no issue surviving all this time it's very heavy duty so it's not easily broken and the fibers on here do seem to be somewhat degraded but still pretty good for how much it's done so far so we can see here none of the teeth here broke off and this is what combs the roller see we got a lot of winding in there we need to clean up what's interesting here are these wheels so the wheels are still on here but they're completely eaten away you guys can see that and as they became eaten away it started rubbing here and you can see how that's starting to really degrade this part 
same on this side so the wheels are still on so I think for this vertex here the conclusion for these wheels is they do survive a lot longer than the older ones which I had a lot of trouble with or we did and constantly had to do something about these wheels and what's interesting on the vertex here they're easily replaceable which unfortunately shark still doesn't provide them so you know you have to fabricate something yourself if you want to change them or you know figure something out but as you can see guys I didn't touch these wheels at all because I wanted to see what will happen for this head I think it was about eight months till the belt broke and we stopped using it and this is why you see this other head here is this is what it replaced so instead of fixing this we just got another head and continued using the vacuum now another thing that's quite interesting after this much use here is these little flaps now if you guys look at them carefully they're very small and I don't think they were that small before so over time they got kind of uh, shaved off I think best way to call it you can kind of see like a really flat line there even though it's supposed to be kind of up and curved and let's see if we can compare it to this one here this one shouldn't be that old yeah see you guys right away look how much larger that flap is here compared to this one it's a tiny little thing so yeah it looks like these little flaps are consumable over time and that's kind of a little bit unfortunate to see because the more you use the vacuum the you know the more it rubs it off the little flaps here and you guys can see this flap here is starting to fall apart so there's like a woven fabric on one side and a rubber on the other of some sort so yeah and eventually it looks like that rubs off and you know i think becomes pretty much unusable but if you guys can see we have no hair anywhere no hair and if one thing these vertex heads do very well at is they don't tangle any hair at all which is very impressive so yeah even though design is maybe not perfect for the long haul but it does what it advertises to do is to be tangle free and you guys can see after a ton of abuse on this brush head here you know it's still in decent shape oh yeah let's look at these wheels so this is about four months or so of use so far and you guys can see the wheels are still fine and that's a great thing because the older apex vacuums these wheels constantly broke off that was not fun for sure and we got tired of that very quick so it's nice to see that the vertex definitely fixed the wheel issues and overall i would say the head itself has been pretty bulletproof you know as far as staying together and working even though this one failed from the belt being cut so yeah we did replace this one here with this head so that's great we can continue using the vacuum now the reason we have this canister here is because this canister failed the failure point was right here you guys can see this broken piece of plastic let me go ahead and take this one off so this is the good one and there's a little clip that goes underneath which broke that side off and it's this little clip here now I feel like this is kind of a weak point because this thing is pretty thin and small and whenever you clip this on you have this huge handle here that you raise the whole vacuum with everything on it and that's a lot of weight and you're depending on that little pin there to keep it all together so yeah I mean I feel like that could be definitely beefed up and you know it only broke once through this whole time but yeah this is kind of a weakness here at this vacuum so you know when you do handle it just be a little bit more careful with it knowing that part could break and also guys we have the last problem here which kind of bricked this whole vacuum for now until we got the extra part which is right here is the wand and let me show you exactly what happened here so if we release the handle on the handle you guys can see that we have like a connection point here like little pins and they slide into the wand i'm sure if you guys are going to be able to see this but yeah you can see there's pins in there and one of the pins is completely dropped down so basically there's no connection between the handle and the wand here which does not activate the brush roll and so that makes it unusable completely so we did get a new one here you can see and that should fix our problem so yeah you guys can see the differences between the two wands so the used one has a little bit of beating on it but it doesn't look too bad actually so yeah overall i think this vacuum did very well and we can still continue using it since we have these newer parts to it and the unit itself is fine the motor and everything so overall this is a great backup vacuum for us when our main one breaks so for the next part let's talk about maintenance which is quite important for a vacuum like this because you know to get the full performance out of it continuously you need to maintain it now one thing to note is that we never wash this bucket practically i think maybe a few times we wiped it off whenever something really nasty got in there but we never wash it and the reason we don't and this is pretty important is that if you guys see that filter there in the middle that's actually a stainless steel kind of mesh and if you get it wet it will rust and you don't want it to rust i guess i could open it here from the top so yeah you never want to you know 
wet this and if you do wash it which is fine you can wash it obviously you want to wipe it off right away with you know a napkin or a cloth it doesn't really make sense to clean it and you guys see we don't clean it at all and it doesn't look too bad I mean it's gonna get dirty either way so even after you clean it from the first second use it's gonna look just like this so so that's one thing another thing very important obviously are these filters now you guys can see our filters here are pretty you know worn out now we do try to recycle these and wash them and then reuse them you know over time I'm not sure how old this one is maybe about three months or something two three months and you guys can see even cleaning it once a week or so you know it's not something that you can keep doing over a long period of time so you do need new filters and this one too you guys can see you know it's starting to get pretty crummy and this is where these kind of filters here come in. You know, you can buy the original Shark, but you know, it's gonna cost you. Or you can buy aftermarket ones. And this is where I got these from Amazon and it comes with the HEPA and the, the foam filters, so. So this whole package here, I think was under $20, which you get two of the HEPA filters and four filter sets. So it comes with thinner one and the foam filter itself. So yeah, for the price, this alone is worth it. And it'll last you probably a lifetime because you can clean these out and reuse them a few times before you know discarding them as you guys can see here so but yeah simple as that keeping the filters clean will you know help with the performance and the life i guess of the vacuum because it doesn't have to you know suck as hard if it's not trying to you know go through a dirty filter and obviously this hepa filter here needs to be changed with this new one and maybe you guys can see but yeah it just clicks underneath there just like that and then we got this cover that goes on top and clicks in and that is it so now we got new filters everywhere and then put the canister on and we're good to go and under here guys all you need to do is pop the little roller off the front and then kind of clean out the teeth under there and that's all the maintenance you can do the hood here doesn't come off which is kind of unfortunate and the reason i say that and i've been saving this little rock here got in side the brush roll behind this little screen here and it jammed in the roll because the roll is pretty close it jammed it and it just jammed the whole thing and it didn't want to turn on and it was so hard to get to it because there's no way to open this it took a little bit of fighting with it and some screwdrivers and rolling the roller by hand trying to get the little rock out yeah i wish they would have made a door up front which i guess this design doesn't really need one but you guys can see there's something in there right now like a little ball or something that's just stuck in there and there's no way to really get it out so yeah you know watch out for larger hard particles that can lunge themselves into the back there between the roller and this upper portion yeah but other than that guys no real complaints anywhere from the vacuum all right so let's go ahead and plug this thing in and we're gonna see make sure that the new hard pipe here works so i'm gonna power it on and you guys can see it does light up so it means it's working and go ahead and engage it so yeah looks like everything's back to normal and go ahead and take this little sticker off here so we do have this brand new vacuum with retail boxing which is really nice because it shows you all the features here of what it can do hyper velocity strongest suction of any vacuum i definitely believe that and they have a really cool little picture here of the motor and you guys can see you know this vacuum is pretty unique for sure how it operates in the brush roll with the power fins so i'm going to go ahead and unbox the new vacuum so you guys can see the difference of how nice it looks when it's new and here we have the new one so yeah they look really nice when they're new very clean and well presented you guys can see how bright that roll is in the front and yeah just a pretty nice looking vacuum would make a great present for somebody for sure and looking at the back here you can see it comes with this little brush roll also has these same kind of fins here or similar i guess and it can connect here to the back of the vacuum this could be pretty nice but it's not motorized it's just vacuum powered and then we got this crevice tool here it has these little rubber nubs and works pretty good so yeah guys to summarize we absolutely love these vacuums and we've been using shark vacuums for over five years now and you know we fell in love with the first ones but then they just got better and better and they're still pretty awesome so for me personally i'm not too crazy about the design aesthetics of them because of the rose gold and the blue kind of doesn't work together in my opinion but it does look pretty nice overall the ladies seem to like it so i guess that's more important but overall with our experiences with the vertex here it's a very durable vacuum a very powerful vacuum 
and overall very reliable yeah you know if you want a really good vacuum there's not much choices out there of what you can get so if you haven't tried shark vacuums yet or on the fence kind of I would say give it a try and I don't think you'll go back to anything else the brush roll here is definitely the magic behind the whole thing you know it does excellent on hard floors wood floors and then somehow excellent on carpets also so yeah big thumbs up from us and we'll continue to use the shark vertex until you know shark comes out with something better all right guys well if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful then hit that like button if you want to pick up a vertex for yourself check out the link in the description also guys check out the original review video of the vertex you'll probably find it pretty useful with our initial impressions and some use and as always guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one peace